Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christian. Good morning, good evening, good night, good day, good afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you're seeing this, I hope you are good. So today guys, we're gonna be getting into some general messages all about the full moon in Scorpio, the full pink moon in Scorpio that we're gonna be having on April 23rd. So this full moon is gonna be a very intense one. First, it's the first full or new moon that we've had since eclipse season and Mercury retrograde is coming to an end around the time of this full moon. So it's definitely going to be a chance to kind of let go of stuff once and for all, deal with things once and for all. And we saw a lot in this eclipse season and in this Mercury retrograde. Like there's a lot of conversations that need to be had that haven't been had yet. There's a lot of things that still need to be said. There's a lot of things that definitely need to be released and let go. And we're going to get into all of that so we can really use this full moon to its benefit. The full moon is always a time of things coming to the light, new things popping up, an opportunity for release, and just an opportunity to see things clearly. We're also going to be letting go of delusions as well in this full pink moon in Scorpio. So let's just get into it. I hope you guys have been doing great. Make sure you guys check out my last YouTube video. I did a get ready with me if you guys are interested in how I do my makeup. Now, this is a toned down look that I did today, but if you guys are interested in seeing my full beat and just hearing me answer some questions, I talked a little bit about family trauma and moving on and all different types of questions that you guys sent in. So if you guys want to check that out, then get into it. Also, I'll let you guys know about Fruitful You Coaching, my new, not so new, but kind of new business venture. You guys know that I've been doing business mentoring and business reboot sessions and talking about entrepreneurship and stuff forever. In my very early days on YouTube, I did a lot of work talking to entrepreneurs and talking about marketing and sales and being unique in your business and how to get an apartment without pay stubs if you're an entrepreneur, all kinds of stuff. Um, so this basically feels like me kind of getting back to my roots a little bit. Even before I was doing spiritual work, I was doing graphic design for people and all kinds of stuff before I found this work. So working with business owners has always been something that's been really, really good for me, something that's come very naturally to me and I wanted to create a platform just for business. So we're definitely going to have some business story times and some business tea that's going to be coming soon for you guys to get into. But for right now, make sure you follow Fruitful You Coaching on Instagram. I have some new services that I'm doing, content services, a longer mentorship package for businesses and different audits that you can do if you want me to give you my feedback on your social media platforms. So definitely get into the content services and the business services that I'm going to be offering now. Um, anytime I add something new, to the list of the things that I get into or anytime I expand something, it's always exciting because chances are I've been thinking about it for months and this is definitely something I've wanted to do for a while and doing the Fruitful You 90 day course has just really put the fire up under me to create a platform just for my business. So if you're a business owner, if you're an entrepreneur, then go ahead and get into Fruitful You coaching on Instagram. Make sure you follow and stay tuned because there's so much tea that's going to be coming. Also, guys, one more thing before we get into all the tea with this full pink moon. Um, of course, I'm going to be doing private readings for this full moon for 30 bucks. So if you're interested, then get into it. We're going to be talking about what are you emotionally purging? What's going to be next for you after your release? And also, what truths are you facing right now? So get into it if you guys want to see specifically how this full moon is going to be popping up for you. Again, we're going to get into what truths are you facing in the private reading. We're also going to be talking about what's next for you after you release. And then lastly, what emotionally are you purging? So get into it. It's at the top of the description box. As always, you can find the links to the new platform, the podcast, shop, everything down below in the description box. Y'all got to keep up because I'm also about to drop some new jewelry. I mean, it's a lot going on. So, so stay tuned. Stay tuned. We ain't even in the summer yet. So stay tuned, but let's go ahead and talk about this full pink moon um, and just the energy of this as a whole. So we have a full moon in Scorpio. We know Scorpio energy is emotional, um, a little bit delusional as well. We're also being challenged to kind of deal with delusional energy and just deal with the things that we've been seeing that we've been kind of trying to ignore. Um, Pluto was also going to be in Aquarius at the time of this full moon. So we know Aquarius energy in Pluto is asking us to kind of go deep in the depths because Pluto is all about digging deeper than you've ever dug before and really kind of asking yourself like what have you been ignoring what have you been seeing but you've been doing whatever you can to ignore it so much so that you really believe it's not there anymore you know I think this eclipse season and also with Mercury retrograde right now all leading us to this huge full moon moment I feel like we've been able to really have and I've been talking for a minute about the veil being pulled over our eyes we're still in that moment but these last couple of weeks 
we've really been in that moment like never before and i feel it's all leading up to us coming to the point where we're able to let go if you've been recognizing different things about yourself about what you need about life this is going to be the time to put action behind those things that you've been tapping into and figure out okay how am i going to let this go how i'm going to make sure that this doesn't affect me anymore how am i going to get back control of my energy and that's going to look different for everybody for some of us, it's going to mean that we get back into our therapy sessions, we get back into being active. For some of you, it's going to mean changing up your diet and just dedicating yourself to your wellness and to your lifestyle and making sure that you're putting great things into your body and into your spirit. Um, also something else, you've been able to see how you've been neglecting yourself in this eclipse season and you've been able to see where you've been holding yourself back. You've been able to see where you've been saying, oh, I'm going to hold off on that. I don't want to do that. And then you finally do it and it takes six minutes to do it or it takes zero effort or it's not as scary as you thought. So we've also been able to see a lot about ourselves. You know, we've been able to drag everybody around us. But anytime you drag the people around you, it's always an inner drag. It's always an inner drag because anytime I think back on people that I've had to drag or cut off or remove from my life, I think about all of the reasons why. And I think like, dang, I was still rooting for them. I was still giving them access to me. I was still sacrificing myself and my common sense and my peace of mind for them. Like, why was I doing that? Why was I allowing myself to be manipulated? Why was I allowing myself to be taken advantage of? So it's not just an outward drag. It's also an inner drag as well. And those are the best kinds of drags because it's easy to point at everybody else and say, you have to come out of my life. You have to come out of my life. You have to come out of my life. And I think a lot of us have been on a different type of spiritual awakening where instead of cutting everybody off. Now, I think this is what everybody experiences, right? You cut everybody off when you get on your spiritual awakening. And then you're in a period of isolation for a while. And then you make some new friends and you might cut them off again. You know, it takes some trial and error in the process of cutting people off and finding soul family and finding friends and making community and cutting people off or whatever. It takes some trial and error to really recognize how you've been contributing to the revolving door that's been in your life. Whether it's dating, people that you're working with, whether it's, you know, friends, family, whatever, there's a revolving door for a reason. You know, there's a reason that people aren't staying in your life, whether that's, you know, you're having to cut people off because X, Y, and Z, whether that's you keep people in your life for too long and then when you cut them off, you have to cut everybody off because you've been letting everybody slide for so long. Um, whether that means that the revolving door is just you just not wanting to be lonely, you not wanting to take time on your own, you know, whatever that may look like. The last thing that we do when we're pointing fingers at everybody else is say, hey, how have I contributed to this? How have I contributed to this? And that's why we're going to be letting go of delusion in this full moon. This is the time to let go of delusion. And when you let go of delusion and you're able to accept the role that you play in everything that happens in your life, you're able to take accountability and really control your life. You cannot control your life unless you take accountability for what you've done, the things that have hurt you. You can't, you can't move forward unless you take accountability for that. And I mean things that we experience on our spiritual journey. I feel like we're specifically talking about checking ourselves on all of the things that we did wrong since we've become this new version of ourselves, you know? A lot of us have been reinvented in the last couple of years. We think different, we eat different, we talk different, we operate ourselves different. I'm definitely one of those people. But that new version of yourself has new problems, new insecurities, new issues, new fears, new challenges. So it's not like you become a new perfected version of yourself. That new version of yourself still has issues. But because we're on this high of enlightenment um, or this high of a new beginning, it can be hard to kind of turn that mirror on yourself. People always say that shadow work is the hardest. And it is. But we haven't had the opportunity to run from shadow work like we usually do. Usually, you can kind of, you know, get away from the shadow work here and there. Everybody was running from shadow work happily in 2020. But this is not the time to run from shadow work. This is the time to look your shadow in its face. And like I've been saying ignorance is bliss that's why everybody is miserable these days because there is no more ignorance you can't even live life unaware of the things that you're doing the things that you're saying and how you affect the people in your life you can't even be unaware of that and our intuition is on 10 right now because the second there's an interaction that doesn't work well most people, I don't know where y'all at, but most people immediately look within themselves. And the journey in that is also going to be to not judge yourself. Because some of us have even started to judge ourselves and feel like, oh my God, I thought I was this new person, but I'm really not because I'm doing this and I'm doing this and I'm doing this. So we have to find that happy medium. And showing up for yourself 
right now, whether it's for the full moon or not, showing up for yourself and recognizing that you are all of those things. You are the bad decisions. You are the good decisions. You are the hope. You are the confusion. You are the ups. You are the downs. Everything that you experience in your life is you. Everything that you're picking up on, everything that you're allowing to carry you forward, everything is you. Everything is you. And we want to make sure that we're not, that we're using those moments, those shadow moments, those down moments where we put our boundaries to the side, where we let our ego rule us, where we let our pride rule us, where we step into those old habits from the past. We have to be in those moments and not condemn ourselves. We have to be in those moments and love ourselves more than ever. So this deep emotional purge is an act of self-love. This deep emotional purge, this deep release is an act of, I love myself enough to look at the scars and figure out what I need to do. If you never look at the scars, you're never gonna know how you need to heal. Because there's a chance that if you ain't setting boundaries, if you let people play with you, if you become the bully, you're not doing that with a smile on your face. You're doing that because there's some trauma beneath it. And that's what we're going to be doing in this space. Getting into that trauma, getting into what we need to let go of and why, and getting into how it's affected us on all levels, okay? I have a bunch of cards that I pulled for you guys, so we're going to get into this. I'm definitely outgrowing the tarot cards, guys. Just because I just kind of like using my brain and using my gifts without the cards but i do appreciate a good oracle card every now and then so i am going to be throwing in some oracle cards so let's get into it i'm going to see if there's anything else i wanted to let you guys know oh let's talk a little bit about this mercury retrograde wrapping up so we have this mercury retrograde and it's going to be wrapping up soon after the full pink moon so with this mercury retrograde mercury retrograde is always a time to shine a light on our conflicts our complications the things that normally give everybody anxiety you know getting places on time turning things in on time getting big big things done making new commitments having uncomfortable conversations with people having confrontations speaking up for ourselves these are things that typically give us anxiety but in a mercury retrograde it's like a, a flashlight being shined on those things and it's an opportunity to say i'm uncomfortable with this and this is why this doesn't work for me and this is why. So really use this as a chance to use your voice. And if you have problems using your voice, I'm going to recommend some things that I did when I needed to work on using my voice. I was singing all the time and talking to myself all of the time. And this is something I used to always do. And my dad used to always say that geniuses talk to themselves because my mom and my dad used to always burst in my room and be like, who are you talking to? Because I'll be having full-blown conversations, just like I'm talking to y'all, full-blown conversations. And I'll be like, oh, I'm practicing a speech. That was my lie <laughs> for years. I was like, I'm practicing a speech. And then my dad was like, you know, geniuses talk to themselves all the time. Like, I guess trying to make me feel like I didn't have to lie about it anymore. But I talked to myself habitually, seriously. Like, I'll literally be in a full-blown conversation and my husband will be like, hello. <laughs> but I always talk to myself. So... Talking to yourself, speaking out loud what you want to speak to others and you feel you can't is a great, 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 great way to connect with your throat chakra and tell yourself that you can speak uncomfortable things out of your mouth. You can say it um, because sometimes, and I still experience this sometimes, where you have an expression blockage or a blockage in your throat and it literally feels like you have a frog in your throat. Like, you know, if you've ever been crying, like that frog in your throat when you try to hold it back. I can literally know what I need to say in my mind and feel like there's something blocking any sound from coming up out of my throat sometimes. And it's a physical thing that I can feel. Like, I've literally been in moments where I've just been in situations where people are like, just say it, just say it. What do you have to say? Just say it. I know there's something's wrong. What do you have to say? And I have it in my head, but I just cannot speak it out of my mouth. So getting past that looks like talking consistently about things that maybe would give you that frog, but doing it in a space where you can control it doing it in a space where you're outside, you're comfortable, maybe you got a little wine, maybe you got a little bleasy, you know what I'm saying? You got the birds chirping in the background, you're sitting by some water, you know, make yourself comfortable. Sit in front of a camera and speak to yourself. Do a voice recording. Act like you want a phone and just hold up the phone. Like, whatever you have to do, talk about it, speak about it, and set yourself free. Because I guarantee you, if you talk about it to yourself a few times, by the time you actually have to speak up about it to someone else, You'll be able to articulate what you're feeling. You'll be able to have already cried about it and been mad about it. So there won't be that emotional overtone that makes it difficult for people to understand what you really want to say. You'll be able to feel better about it because it's one thing when people catch you off guard. And I always feel like I'm caught off guard if somebody's asking me about my feelings, honey. Like, hold on, you asked me about my feelings and I haven't had three days to prepare a speech about how I feel? Like, I'm not ready for this. So you always want to make sure that you 
do whatever you can behind the scenes to make sure you're ready when center stage comes up. And center stage is when we interact with people. You know, when you interact with people, you want to make sure you're able to speak up and you're able to do it in a confident way, in a respectful way. You want to make sure you know how you sound. You want to make sure you know your facial expressions. And sometimes these things are difficult if we've experienced trauma associated with our voice, if we're neurodivergent, if we have any type of anxiety or depression or PTSD or OCD. Um, all of these things can make it difficult for us to show up for ourselves in a way that makes us feel like I am right without any second guessing. So do whatever works for you, uh, but talking out loud is going to be great. Singing is going to be great as well. Um, speaking about the things that you want, giving yourself a safe space to speak. Also journaling. You know, if you know you have to make some hard decisions or say some hard stuff, journal about that stuff first and write it down and read it out loud to yourself afterwards. That's a good way as well to help kind of, you know, open that energy up. Um, but talk to yourself about when you do wrong things. Ask yourself, why did you let that person play with you? Why did you lie? Why did you say this and you really meant this? You know, don't always feel like you have to figure everything out in your head, you know, in meditation. You can have a conversation with yourself sitting in front of the mirror. You can journal and talk out loud about it. Like, get to the bottom of it. Get to the root of it. Don't stop asking yourself questions. Don't stop doing whatever you can to understand what you want and where you're coming from. Um, so, yeah, let's get into these cards that I have for you guys. First, let's get into the Angel Oracle. I pulled these first. So, the first one I have was You're Ready you're ready so you're ready period i think a lot of us have been dancing around a lot of these issues or we've been trying to avoid a lot of these issues or we feel like it's not the right time for me to have the conversation it's not the right time or we keep pushing it and pushing it and pushing it this is the time to finally deal with it and that's a part of that delusion as well thinking that the things that you don't deal with don't affect you when you don't deal with something all you're doing is adding another pound of baggage to which you're going to carry around for the rest of your life and every time you're triggered by that thing and you don't talk about it pray about it speak it out loud to the person or whatever you're adding more weight and more weight and more weight on your own burden on your own baggage on your own back so you have to make sure that you aren't doing that to yourself you have to make sure that you're being kind enough to yourself to give yourself the gift of release so you are ready you're ready and if you don't believe that you're ready then deal with that understand why you don't believe you're ready understand what makes you feel like you're not ready because god says you are okay next we had meditation brings answers so a lot of us need to meditate more often get off of social media stop the endless scrolling stop listening to the bad music turn off all of that stuff i love me and meg the stallion i love me and sex and red i love to drop it like it's hot like lotto i love all of that too put some sound bowls on okay put some gospel music on Put some chants on, put some mantras on, put some, some high frequencies in your ear. You know, do some of that before you go to bed instead of scrolling and going to sleep, watching somebody pimp slap somebody on TikTok. Don't let that be the last thing you see before you close your eyes. Be mindful of what you're putting in your mind because a lot of us don't even have a safe space in our mind to meditate. The things that you've been running from are making your mind a very scary place. So meditation brings answers. Talk to God, meditate, get into it. I might do a meditation video, meditation and prayer one-on-one. -on -one. Let me write that down. Let me know if y'all want a meditation and prayer one-on-one. -on -one. I literally got to write that down because I think that's going to be a real good video for y'all. And comment under here fast if you want a meditation or prayer one-on-one. -on -one. And if you have questions about meditation and prayer, um, then I guess you guys can leave that down below. But I'm going to ask about it on the community tab. That just came to me, but I want to talk to you guys about that. So if y'all are interested in a meditation and prayer video, let me know. Um, moving forward, peaceful resolution, guys. Peaceful resolution. Just like I said before, we think that it's going to be so scary to have the conversation or to tell someone I'm not happy or whatever. Peaceful resolution. This doesn't mean that you guys are going to shake hands or walk into the sunset. It may mean that you both have to be in your own lives and live peacefully. Something I've realized is that, and this is something I've realized before, I'm not in a lot of people's lives anymore. I've fallen out with a lot of people. I've moved away from a lot of people physically and also spiritually. But it's a peaceful resolution because I feel like I got what I needed from this space and hopefully they got what they needed. But I'm not concerned about if they got what they needed. You know, I'm not thinking about them. I'm able to be happy and be free knowing that the situation turned into something that ventured into something else. And that allows them to be free as well. You know, energy is exchangeable even when you're not in someone's life. So if you let something go in love and light, please trust and believe that they will do the same. And if you have anybody in your life that's still harboring a negative thought about you, you have to ask yourself if you're being negative about them. Because I've had people that have done me down bad and have turned around to apologize to me. 
and I'm genuinely forgiving them. Anyone who's apologized to me after the fact, I already forgave them before they apologized to me. So give yourself the opportunity to have that peaceful resolution with or without the other party. We also have communicate clearly and let go. Of course, communicate clearly and let go. So do some communication work, guys. Have a conversation with yourself. Get into some prayer. Talk out loud. Sing. Look up the throat chakra stuff. Get into it and let go. Communicate clearly and let go. Make sure you're not saying a bunch of BS. Don't worry about wrapping up what you have to say in a pretty bow. Say it to yourself a bunch of times until you're able to say it in a way someone understands. You know, sometimes it takes thinking about something a few times to be able to really relay it in the way that someone's going to pick it up. So if you have to do that, then fine. Even if you have to do that to yourself. Because sometimes we think and think and think about something until we can finally understand what it means for us. So sometimes you have to do the same thing for other people. Sometimes you have to make it make sense. Um, but communicate clearly and let go. Of course, we have a full moon. We know full moons are always about release and letting go. So let go. Um, all right, guys. Let's go ahead and move into these next cards. I pulled a good bit of cards for you guys. That was just the Angel Answers Oracle deck that I was just using. This is the Tea Leaf Oracle. So we have Well, Great Worry Over Nothing. I always get this card for all of y'all. All of my followers, I always get this card. Great Worry Over Nothing. We stressing and we tripping and we have no reason to stress and trip. Why we do that? Why we do that? Great Worry Over Nothing. God is saying, let it go. We also have Fair Man. And we also have another a card here about connecting with your ancestors. So some of you guys might have a grandfather, someone with white hair um, that might be trying to connect to you and send you some love. Some of you guys might need to communicate with a fair man. You might have something that you need to say to a man with light skin or light hair. Um, some of you might need to, you know, some of you guys are the fair man and need to speak up more. But what have you, we have this fair man coming out, someone with blonde or light skin and blonde, white or gray hair. So I feel that could be an ancestor. Some of you guys could have a grandfather coming through. We also have Tankard. This says celebration, fun, and enjoyment. So don't forget that the spring equinox happened, y'all. It's still the new year. Y'all might not feel like it's a new year. I feel like how it feels right now is like when you at the party, but your friends ain't get there yet. So you at the party, you like, yeah, it's a vibe. The DJ busting. I got some champagne. I look good. It's a vibe, but my friends ain't here. I'm not comfortable here yet. And I think you you decide if you're comfortable. You know, you can easily say, girl, let me go up to the bar. Let me see what everybody's doing. Let me see if I know anybody in here. Let me find somewhere nice to stand. Let me go in the bathroom and do a little touch up and take some pictures. You can get comfortable in any environment. It's up to you to get comfortable there, though. You don't have to sit around and wait for people to make you feel welcome. You make yourself feel welcome. So celebration, fun, and enjoyment. I think that you guys should have some fun, enjoy life. Don't feel like you have to be cooped up and miserable. And don't let the work that you're doing take the fun and the joy away from your life right now. There's a lot to enjoy right now, so make sure you're enjoying it. We have Lion. This says time to act. Time to act. So get into it, make it happen. We have energies about letting go. So I feel like it's time to kind of shift a little bit, let go and bring in something new. We also have hammock, taking a vacation physically or mentally. So I feel like a lot of us feel like hard work, partying and celebration, rest. I feel like we think that these aren't the same things or we feel like I need time to act, but I need time to rest, but I need time to party, but I need time to celebrate. I need time to be grateful. And I feel like your energies are saying you can do all of that at the same time. You can take action that rests your mind because it brings peace to your spirit. You can take action that rests your body because you're able to do it from a relaxing environment or you're able to do it outside where you're feeling good. You can take action that looks like waking up early, doing some yoga, some meditation first thing in the morning. That can be taking a vacation mentally. You don't have to go on a plane to take a vacation. You can take a vacation right now, a 24 hour peace vacation in your brain okay um and yeah we have all of these different energies here but i feel like your energies are saying it's not as different as you think you might be thinking i need a day for this and a day for this and a day for this and your energies are saying do everything all the time you know when all things give thanks and all things find rest and all things find motivation all of those things can exist at once also guys we have feather someone you know is undependable and insincere so if someone is independable and insincere, we already knew that. I knew we was cutting somebody off. That's why we got all that let go and the mercury retrograde. You definitely cutting some people off or you realizing why you had to cut somebody off. You're realizing, oh, I couldn't have done anything to save that relationship or that friendship. Also, we have dog protection from a powerful friend. So don't cry too much. I feel like you guys definitely have a friend that's going to be stepping up for you. I feel like you guys have an ace boom cone in your life. And if you don't, this person is coming into your life and 
something I told you guys I realized recently, like I be looking for community and be looking for friends and I have a best friend back home that would do anything for me, anything. I call her right now and tell her to go to your house and beat you up and she gonna do it, you know? She's very, 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 very loyal. She's the definition of a sister, the definition of a soulmate, the definition of just what I want and what I need as a friend because that's how I ride behind my friends and behind my family. And I wanted everybody that I came across to be the powerful friend in my life. But sometimes you have to be the powerful friend because I've had some friends where I have to be the one they call. I have to be the one to make sure they get what they need. I got to be the one to protect them and stand up for them, you know? So having a powerful friend is always going to overshadow having people that you can't count on because that don't matter. Boop. Who cares? You got a powerful friend. You got a dog that's going to be loyal no matter what. So focus on that. I think you guys definitely have some good friendships on the way. If you have some good friends already around you, spend some time with them, enjoy them, celebrate them, um, and focus on that. You know, don't feel like your friends aren't enough. Don't feel like what you have isn't enough. Recognize the role that you play in others' lives as well. But we have protection from a powerful friend. So y'all definitely have a good friend that's going to be supporting you, even though some are going to have to be removed. Also, oh wait, I have the wrong deck of cards. So we have carriage, a journey, either physical or mental. So we're definitely on a journey right now. This makes sense. And a carriage ride is always a little bumpy, you know. So we traveling in style. We in a carriage, but it's a little bumpy, you know. So we are on a journey. Recognize that. Appreciate that. And also, y'all, we know we on a journey. Have you ever heard anybody's journey or read any story ever in your life? There is no story, no journey, no nothing ever told anywhere by man that says every day was sunshine, everything was perfect, everything was happy. Even in the most beautiful, romantic, fantastic stories, there's always some tragedy. There's always something there. So I think that it's important that we remember for our own journeys, depression is normal for you to feel on your journey. Guilt is normal. Shame is normal. Confusion is normal. Frustration is normal. Feeling left alone is normal. Feeling lost is normal. It doesn't mean that you're doing something wrong. It doesn't mean that you need to turn around and start all over again. Sometimes it just means that we're just at a rough patch and all we need to do is push through. So really, really remember and release the delusion that I've been saying this for a minute. Bad does not equal bad feeling does not equal bad for you bad feeling does not equal bad for you so embrace the journey as a whole we also have money will be coming to you so stepping into a bag we love to see this stepping into a bag some financial abundance on the way and we have legs stepping into a new experience stepping into a new experience as well so i feel like we are changing hands in our life right now going from one space to another and making some really big changes that are really going to stand out um, we also have watch a movie. These are some self-care cards. So watch a movie. That's something that you can do during the full moon. Soak in a bath. You can do a bath for yourself. We have hydrate. So lots of water. Connect with water. Also do a fast. A fast could be really, really good to step into. And we have dance. I also had you guys, some people were asking me about doing fasting videos. I have plenty of videos on fasts, y'all. So I literally just completed a 21-day fast at the beginning of the year. So go back in my videos if you want information on fasts. Um, we also have dance. So dancing around, having a good time, moving your energy around, just celebrating life and being grateful for the space that you're in. Dance is always good to move around stagnant energy. And lastly, we have connect with your ancestors. Connect with your ancestors. So go hang around some family, get reconnected with family um honor your ancestors by doing things that would celebrate their memory and honor their memory um and reach out to your ancestors you could definitely have some ancestors trying to reach out to you and send you some messages um so you can maybe pray and ask god that if you have any guardian angels or you have any ancestors that you know would like to give you some motivation or give you some words of wisdom um that god allows you know you to be in a space where you can safely see signs from them and safely you know connect with them and understand um you know the things that they've experienced or even what you can learn from your ancestors journey there's so 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 much in us that our ancestors also experienced so even if you ask god like what am I fighting that my ancestors fought let me know what I'm dealing with that my ancestors have also dealt with what am I experiencing that my ancestors also experienced and how can I connect with their strength and their knowledge and their wisdom to do something differently so the lineages that come after me aren't going to experience the same thing 
So yeah, guys, those are the cards that I pulled for us for this full moon, pink full moon in Scorpio. Um, it's going to be happening on April 23rd. I think this is a really, really, really good opportunity to get your mind right. I've been saying that. This is a great opportunity to get your mind right, get your spirit right, see some things once and for all, recognize some things once and for all. The Mercury retrograde definitely pulled out a lot of specifics, and so has this eclipse season. Again, this is the first full moon after eclipse season, so you really want to take advantage of purging and releasing everything that you've been working on. It might be a lot of crying. It might be a lot of, you might even throw up. You might even be on the toilet. You know, you might even be sweating a lot. You might wake up and have a sweats one day. Um, if you are on your cycle during this time, it might be a little bit heavier. The thing about emotional purging is that we emotionally purge spiritually, physically, you know, in so many different ways. Like I mentioned, you might literally have the runs and be on the toilet. You might literally be throwing up. You might have certain memories that cause you to burst into tears. Um, there's so many different ways that our body tells us this can no longer reside within me. Um, I have to let this out. So be open to that, whatever that may look like. Um, make sure that you're resting. Make sure that you're giving yourself time to breathe and decompress. But I'm going to be doing these readings for a minute, um, probably until the end of the week that the full moon is going to be so the end of next week these readings are going to be available make sure you guys check in and get a private full moon in scorpio reading we're going to be getting into what you are emotionally purging we're also going to be talking about what truths are being revealed to you right now and also what's to come after you release so yes if you guys are interested Check the top of the description box to see where you can send 30 bones and get your reading. Um, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all as always. Make sure you send your Instagram or an email in the um, in the payment notes so I know what to send it to. But I appreciate you guys. I thank y'all and I love y'all. And I will see you guys next time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know how you feel about it down below in the comments as always. And let me know how you feel about the meditation and prayer one-on-one -on -one, because it's already coming. I decided I'm going to do it. But let me know if you have any questions you want me to answer. Um, and be on the lookout for post that I'm going to make separately just asking for questions about that. So yes, I appreciate y'all as always. Hope you guys enjoy these downloads and these messages. I love y'all and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. Bless.